Nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Also, if you go to the Imperial. Mmm. Nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Delightful! Oh my god, seriously. I mean, just delightful. Loved it. You know what it was? It was so on point of a musical that, that if I didn't know that it was new, I would have thought that it was an old musical. Absolutely. With all the racism taken out. <laughs> I wonder if there was racism in OK. Right? I don't know. They kept the retarded person. In. That's true. So well done. Absolutely. It makes me want um, Kathleen Marshall and Joe DiPietro and like the entire same creative team to go and take a stab at all those old-timey musicals and like anything goes I loved anything goes and I thought it was fantastic I was like is there a way to edit this racism? I'm fine with keeping the racism. I mean I am and I'm not you know what I mean but I, every old old musical that I've seen where there's like lots of great stuff and there's a lot of things where they're like, this is a joke. It was like the best possible version of every old tiny musical mm -hmm. I know, you know? Where like every single joke landed and like was smart and like good and uh, it was like the... It was like, it was exactly like all those old tiny musicals, but better. You know what I mean? It's so good. It's so fun and just delightful and everybody is just so good in those roles. I mean, mm -hmm. Kelly O'Hara is just like, you've got to freaking be kidding me. I mean, her, I saw her in South Pacific and she was so incredible and such an, like an amazing performer and so awesome. And the comedy that she got in, in Honey Bun was like great and mm -hmm. fun. The comedy, the physical comedy that Kelly O'Hara mm -hmm. does in this show is like, I was like falling out of my seat. She was so funny and so incredible. Matthew Broderick was like, that, I mean, is like a Matthew Broderick character. Like he's so, it was like written for him, you know, like it's, it, he was perfect. He was so perfect and it was so funny and just like every single line delivery that he oh, gave was just like hilarious. And it's, I was thinking about that too, about that like playboy character. Why, why were so many, why were so many musicals written about that guy? <laughs> that guy's awful. Um, probably because that guy invests in the shows. And he's like, write a musical about a guy like me. <laughs> but then he falls for the commoner. <laughs> Can yeah. I just, I just want to put in a little brief thing about how freaking adorable Kelly O'Hara looked in those little, the newsboy hat and the vest mm. when she was being a bootlegger. She looked so, so f***ing cute. She looked cute. Oh man. Very Jennifer, Laura, Thompson. Oh my god. Genius. Oh man. Hilarious. That bathtub. <gasps> oh my god. So funny. Mm -hmm. It's just point more. Also great physical comedy from Jennifer Laura Thompson. Oh, so Lots of like, great. like, ugh, I love that where you're, that specific fall where you're like walking up something and then you slide down <gasps> it. There's a lot of that happening. Oh man, so funny. I love it. Yes. It's great. Win. Ugh. Heard her. Mm -hmm. She was so funny. Hilarious. Love her. Love that character, mm. whoever she is, mm. you know, in the mm. show. Like mm -hmm. Irma. Yes. Like sassy, sassy broad. Yes. Oh my god. Give the sassy broad a song. Loved her. That's the, the 1930s version of a big black lady stops the show. <laughs> Michael McGrath. Oh my god, Michael McGrath. Michael McGrath. Do you know what? It made me be like, I wish I had seen him in Spam a lot. Totally. Because I did not. I saw Spam a lot. I did not see him in Spanish. My god, he is so funny, you guys. Hilarious. Everybody in the show is so funny, and he, uh he... Also, I love his accent, and I feel like the voice that he was using, and I feel like if I didn't know who he was, I wouldn't have known that that was Michael McGrath. Yeah. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Also, because we were far Real back. far back. Real far back. <laughs> Chris Sullivan. Ugh! Listen, guys, we saw him also in Chicago. It's true. And he was an amazing Amos. He was. He was incredible. Uh -huh. And this character also is awesome. And it, he is so 
funny. Oh my god. Oh, that Please. song where he's like, blah, 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 your hair, blah, blah. Oh, I love that. I loved it. Also made me think of Brian Stokes Mitchell. Mmm. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, he's fantastic. And he plays a good, slow character. <laughs> Judy K, y'all. Judy K. Oh my god. Judy K. Judy K. Judy K. I mean, what else do we need to say? What else can we say about her than other than that we saw Judy K in a show? So you know it. All the information is there. We saw Judy K in a show, so you know what happened. And Amazing. It's amazingness. Ugh, she was fantastic. Oh my god. And the, like, just great classic story arc of that type of character. Uptight yes. bitch. Loose, learns how to loosen yes. up. Swinging uh, from a chandelier. Swinging from a chandelier. Oh my god, it was so amazing. Her character when she got drunk was just so awesome. You know, and normally I would be like, someone doesn't get that drunk that fast, but then I remember you. I get real drunk real fast. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, it, right? it happens, right? world. Yeah. If you doubt it, take Emily out. She's a cheap day. <laughs> One drink. Like I'm, like well, half a half like I'm like half, half a cocktail, a I'm fancy cocktail, drunk, and she's drunk. Drunk. So if you don't drink, yeah, she would. Get also, drunk because that, that was bootlegger gin, so it was probably very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like I was talking about her story arc, and you could sort of see what was happening in this type of musical. I love that. I love when I can see, see where, where it's, it's going, going yeah. because it is that type of musical. Yeah, totally. And then I feel like I'm in on it with everybody. Yeah. Oh, Gershwins. Those Gershwins. I like that they threw in some Rhapsody in Blue in there in the orchestra. That was pretty nice. Should we talk about Estelle Parsons? Did you almost forget she was in no. this show? Uh, a little bit. Oh, Estelle Parsons. Third. I want her job on Broadway. She's third, build third. <laughs> she, I think her onstage time is four and a half minutes. No. Including the curtain call, ten minutes. I would say fifteen. <laughs> That's what I would say, fifteen. Oh my god, it's amazing. Estelle Parsons. Oh, yes. Awesome. And she nailed it. Nailed it. I mean, nailed she had, it. like... Two hours and 15 minutes to prepare. <laughs> and then she just walks on stage and it's like, kabam. She's like, son. Oh, so funny. Oh, so great. Oh, and Matthew Broderick, every time he was like, said mother or mentioned mother, he was like, well, mother says that oh, I am no that good. voice that he was oh my using. God, I loved it. That whole cadence of his voice was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, let's talk about Joe DiPietro. Oh, Joe DiPietro. How I love you. So much do I love Joe DiPietro. Mm. So much. Oh my god, the book is amazing. It's hilarious. It's so funny and it's tight and all the characters are perfectly defined mm -hmm. in their worlds and together and like it's, it's lawless. It's fantastic. It's the perfect... I'm very curious about what... From OK, because mm. I think it is an entirely new book, but yeah. what from the story of OK remains. Yeah. Um, just out of curiosity. Because also I'm curious how he fixed it. He fixed you know what it. I mean? Whatever it was I'm before, sure it's flawless now. It's so perfect for what it is. Yeah. I think there should, uh, you know what it was missing though? Mm. Attacked. Yeah. There was a lot of amazing dancing, and there was that awesome, like, waltz sort so of song. Kathleen Marshall's shoe. kind of, like, tap dancing. No, but then I'm like, Kathleen Marshall, tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I appreciated all the other moves that Kathleen Marshall was showing us, yeah. but I was also like, Kathleen Marshall, show me well, a tap dance! I guess the other difference is it was a little more period-specific because it was the 20s. Right. Not that you can't have tap dancing in the 20s, you can, yeah. but it was so period-specific. It was there's like Charleston and a little bit of soft shoe and like ballroom, yeah. so I get that. But we, we always think tap dance. Oh, Kathleen Marshall. Tap dance. Just Everything she Once, does. once she needed a tap dance. What's the use of hanging around with you? What's hanging around with you? Hanging around with you, dearie? She's in Matthew Roderick's bedroom. 